tangled mess of metal and wires. On board had been its owner, 70-year-old Lord Bally Edmund, Northern Ireland's richest man, an entrepreneur in pharmaceuticals and politician. The pilot, Carl Dickerson, co-pilot Lee Hoyle and Declan Small, a worker from Norbrook Laboratories, the company owned by Lord Bally Edmund. We send out uh, our condolences to his family circle who will be uh, very much grieving uh, at this time. He will be a, a great loss to the Northern Ireland uh, community and indeed the United Kingdom as a whole. We very much uh, regret his uh, passing uh, and we express our condolences to all those uh, who were close to him. The aircraft came down around 7.30 on Thursday night as foggy conditions closed in. James Tuttle saw the aircraft shortly before it crashed. We were working away in the yards and um, sort of looked up and heard a helicopter, which is a regular occurrence, but that sounded different. So we looked up and as, he, as we looked up, he was pitching down, his tail was down, he was gliding in. So I presume he had engine failure or something was right, the matter. It had taken off from Gillingham Hall, just a short distance away, one of the Lord's stately homes. Now that the fog has cleared, it gives you some idea about just how big the crash scene is. They're collecting every single piece of debris, all potentially significant, as they continue their investigations. It has been confirmed that Lord Valley Edmund had issued legal proceedings against the maker of the helicopter over safety concerns about the navigational systems on this model. Augusta Westland say they're making internal checks to establish what the situation is, but cannot comment any further. Police say it is too early to pinpoint a cause. With the information as we find it, we update the family full through, fully through the process, so we make sure that what we're saying is as accurate as we can be. But at this time, we're not able to suggest what has happened, but of course we consider all possibilities. For much of the day, the bodies of the victims remained at the scene, a standard part of this kind of complex investigation as they worked to get answers for the families. Rhiannon Mills, Sky News in Norfolk.